All right, y'all, we're back with another episode of the Say It Out Loud podcast. And this week I have Courtney Lee, who is in my group program. I'm so excited to have her on here. I'm going to let her uh, share her transformation with all of you. But what I what I really want, when you're listening to this, okay, and I always like to train people with how they listen, right? We're not comparing. We're not judging ourselves with another person what you're really trying to do is see yourself in another person and really see like how does this relate to me and how do I learn from this person and what they're saying because like I think it's very easy when we look at people we put them on pedestals and we don't um we don't trust ourselves and so I'm bringing on members of my say it out loud group program because Here's the thing, I can market my program all day, but it, it, it just is not as powerful as when it comes from the people who have actually gone through the program. So I am so excited to have you here, Courtney. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. We're having a little bit of sound issues. Can you hear me properly? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you too. Okay, great. We just had to figure that because I was feeling some choppiness on my end, but we're good. Okay, so I would love for you to share with everyone listening um, what made you want to join the Say It Out Loud program? Like what about it sparked something inside of you? Oh my gosh. I would say first and foremost the name alone like it really called to me I would say you know just feeling like I've been hiding and muting myself is like the best um description of it I guess you could say kind of muting myself um you know I realized like I need to say it out loud I'm not speaking enough I'm not communicating enough I I just felt like all of this pressure building up inside all of this information, knowledge, experience that I'm not sharing. And I'm like, you know what? This this is probably the program for me that I need right now. When you joined, did you think it was a business program? Like what did you like what did you categorize this under? Because yeah, what did you categorize this under? Like how did you just okay, so I I I want to say ask you share why I'm asking this question. I feel like women I've done this myself. We need to like have a really valid reason as to why we invest in ourselves. Like, oh, this is going to help me with my business or this is good for me. Like, you know, we have to like, we have to have a reason. And I, there's nothing wrong with that. But I also think, you know, I don't market this program as a business program at all. But I do say that when you say it out loud, you know, you say it out loud in every area. So I'm just curious for you, like, what was it about how I, about like what outside of it being called to say it out loud, uh, program what spoke to you about it well I know that you are a woman in business so I I had a very strong feeling that even though it's a say it out loud program and it's probably going to focus on our communication mm -hmm. I knew that you as a woman in business you know would understand my struggles as a woman in business trying to communicate and I'm seeing you living it out and I'm seeing you having so much success in saying it out loud, being yourself, being authentic. And I'm like, I think I remember saying this to you um, in another program I was in with you where I said, you're like my walking bucket list. <laughs> oh. I'm like, I'm seeing like all of these great things that you're doing. And I'm like, damn, like that, that calls to me, you know, like that, that's me at the core, but I'm like holding back, you know? So I knew that, yes, more than likely it's going to be a program that focuses on communication and um, really helping like processing that those internal thoughts and like speaking out loud and getting better with public speaking, quote unquote. But I, I, I did have an angling of a thought like, you know what, Vasavi is a woman in business. She's going to get me. So it's going to marry the two perfectly for me, exactly what I needed. Well, I, I just want to say this out loud, of course, to everyone listening and to you, Courtney, like when you joined the program, like you, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. We've talked about this. You were really, uh, you packaged and edited your words a lot. You, 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 you suppressed your own voice. And now what we're going into week eight. Can you believe that it's been two months? Uh, oh, yeah. 
three months three months feels like a long time for people but that shit goes by quickly right yeah. Cause, but i've noticed about you i said this to you right before we hit record you are you're becoming unfuckwithable i can feel it like you don't you're just like and you, you and I want everyone hearing this. This is not about you You become bitchy and you're this and you've you got to be mean. And no, Courtney, you still have the same heart. You still have the same spirit. You just are giving yourself permission to say what you want to say and want what you want without apology. That's what I notice about you. And there's a free spiritedness in you that I see coming through. I can feel your free spiritedness coming through. We all have it. Yes. We all have it. Absolutely. And I believe that the way we access it is by saying it out loud. That's my methodology. There are many other ways to free your spirit. But inside this program, it's not just vocal. It's not just verbal. But, you know, for example, Alex, who I interviewed uh, last week on the podcast, uh, she, I don't know why I just winked at you, uh, she, who, I, who I interviewed last week on the podcast, you know, she's got, gotten to roller skating, right? And it's so it's like... We unlock all these different parts of us when we just say it out loud. So um, I want everyone knowing, uh, l you know, letting you know right now, our next round starts August 5th. We are in early bird pricing. It is $500 or uh, three payments of 200. And you know, Alex said this to me. She goes, you know, it is really, really affordable. And I go, I know I did that on purpose. I don't think personal development should be hard for people to invest in. Like if you're gonna yeah. work with, like, yes, you can read the books, listen to the podcast, but I want people to be in my energy. I want, because I believe that my energy will change your life, you know? So I want to make it easy ish, right? 500 may be hard for some. And, and for the, and for those that it's difficult for, I offer you a payment plan. So jump on it. The link is in the show notes and Courtney, are you ready? We're going to get into a rapid fire questioning. You don't even know the questions, right? Yes. 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 Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So let me ask you this. Uh, what is something that you've never been able to do. Wait, hold on. I want to just say this. The reason why I ask these specific questions is because these questions, I think a lot of us are shy to maybe answer these questions out loud. And I want my audience to hear the power of saying it out loud is you stop being so ashamed of yourself and you don't need to always put on this front like you're perfect. So that's why I ask the questions that I ask. So anyway, I'm going to stop interrupting myself and we're going to get into it. Uh, what's something you've never been able to do well? Okay, let's see. Um, if I had to think of, I, can, I don't think I can say one thing. I would say going back to childhood days, first thing I would think of is math. Mm. But <laughs> I, I was always the reading girl, English, literature, that's my jam. Mm -hmm. um, everyone calls me, my husband like uses me as like the encyclopedia, like, how do you spell this? How do you spell that? And I'm just like throwing it off, spelling me girl, that was me. But mm -hmm. math, oh my gosh, I, I don't, I don't like, unless it's counting money, like I hated math. <laughs> oh, I love that. Unless it's counting money. Look at you, baller. Look at you, like, oh, unless I'm counting my bills. Okay, love that. Um, what's gift something wrapping. you, wait, what, sorry, go say that again? Gift wrapping. Oh, gift I'm the oh. worst gift wrapper. Oh yeah, you can pay someone to do that. That's great. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what's something you think everyone should try at least once? That's a good one. Wow. What's something that someone should try at least once? Oh my gosh. Um, if I had to think of something, I would say speaking on camera. Mm, wow. On camera. Yeah. I, I'm noticing like a lot of my audience are still like just using posts as their content and um i'm guilty of that as well but once i started like speaking on camera just that very first time it definitely got easier even though i pulled back over the years um i'm still pushing myself to like continue stretching that muscle because mm -hmm. once i get started it becomes easier and easier and i know that so you know the one on camera Speak, I love that, you know, this, I, I share this story in my book. And, and for those of you, you know, if you have, if you're not on my book wait list, please go to vasavikumar.com forward slash wait list to get on the wait list for my book, Say It Out Loud. One of the examples that I use in my book, Courtney, is I talk about, I share this story. I went with my ex to a, um, to a basketball game here at, at, at a University of Texas. And we're sitting and, and 
And you know, in the middle of the uh, stadium, they have the jumbotron. They have that big television screen, right? And I observed something so interesting. Every time someone's face showed up on the jumbotron, and they and they noticed, oh my god, I'm okay. They got they, everyone lit up. They were dancing. I saw this one little boy. As soon as he was like, oh my god, my face, he started lighting up and he started flailing his arms, and that like proved my theory that it's like we all want to be seen. We all want to be seen. And like when you're caught in the moment and your initial reaction, that is the essence of who you are. That little boy, it wasn't even little, by the way. He must have been like 14, 15, whatever. He's so little. I mean, compared to me and you. But, you know, he as soon as you saw him, he started getting all excited. And then like even this like this like older white good older white dude that he got on and he had a smile and he put his arm around his wife. And it was just like when you're caught in that moment, I feel like that's when you see the true essence of, of people. But I think that's why people are afraid of getting on camera is because they haven't fully accepted themselves, right? So getting on camera to let the world see you, of course, that's terrifying. So I love that you said that. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. And then you know what? I'm actually going to put a resource in the show notes. I know I'm just I'm full of resources today. Um, the Show Up and Shine Challenge is a free challenge that I did for any of you who want to learn to be more confident on camera. I give you prompts. It's a seven. Is it, what is a five day challenge? Um, I'll put the link in the show notes if you if you need help with that as well. Now that you mentioned it, so thank you, Courtney. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you had to work on only one project for the next year, what would it be? Oh. That's easy. It's always going to be <laughs> communication and public speaking for me. Yeah. I know the power of using your voice, especially since meeting you and working with you. And it's just what it is today, you know, um, speaking on camera, speaking on even podcasts, not, you know, outside of camera, like using our voice to transform lives through whatever it is that we do do even if you're not a business consultant like using mm -hmm. our voice to transform lives if you're a yoga teacher or spiritual mm -hmm. you know um counselor or whatever i just mm -hmm. i know that there's power in all of our voices so um for me that is that is like going to be my life's work is just getting better at speaking i want to be speaking on stages and mm -hmm. I want to be um, using my voice to teach others about like starting their own business and entrepreneurship and all that great stuff. So I just want it to become easier and easier for me. So if I had to work on one thing, that would be it because I know that if I have my voice, I can, I don't need um, a PDF, you know, I don't need to give out a PDF. I don't need to even have an Instagram. Like I can just show up and shine basically. <laughs> No, and and you know what, and and here's the here's the best. You know, I'm thinking this right now. It's like now that I know you very well, it's like you have the ability. Everyone has the ability to get on stage, speak, and do all that. It's the internal gunk. It's the internal chatter. It's the beliefs. It's the narrative about why you can and why you suck, and no one gives a shit what you have to say, and all those fucking voices that literally do not belong inside of you. They do not belong to you. That is the only thing getting in the way. I can absolutely see you in less than a year being on stage of speaking. Small conferences, bigger conferences, media, like it's absolutely possible, but we have to get out of our own way. God is ready to give us everything that we want, but we keep trying to manage everything and control everything. And so yeah. through the process of saying it out loud, you're literally clearing up your throat. You're literally clearing up all the, all the shit that's inside of you so that the truth can start coming out. The truth that can really help people's pain and help and help other people in their suffering. How can we really help other people if we are ourselves just like fully suffering? It's so much harder to be able to help someone when we ourselves are suffering. And so by the process of saying it out loud, we're clearing ourselves. And I want to just say a, a caveat we still have the power to help other people even when we are suffering. I remember in my addiction, Courtney, I was still living, you know, telling every, I was, I was making six figures as a coach, but I had my own demons. But I'm even more powerful now, now that I've worked through those demons. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So we are, I mean, we are already powerful beings even in our suffering. I mean, I know, I'm sure you've experienced being able to help another person even if you're having a bad day, right? Yes. But just think yes. about how how even more unstoppable you'll be when you get rid of all that shit that's stopping you, right? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see and that. That's, for why, that's why I said that. Yeah, because I know it's you know I know the power in it. Yeah, and that's I, why I'm so happy to be inside the Say It Out Loud program because in such a short period of time, I truly feel like I'm finally releasing all that gunk and all that guilt and shame that just 
didn't belong there. And I was just overthinking everything. And uh, tears just come to my eyes just talking about it because I feel the change in me. You know what? I can always tell, and it's not a competition at all, but I can always tell in a group who's gonna, who, I, I, I want to say this the right way. It's like, who, who's gonna um, transform quick, you know? And, and, and not just quickly, but who's hungry for it? Who's really like, who there hit the, you were one of them because even the minute we got into the group calls, even in our Voxer community chat, you were the first one Voxering. You kept going. You didn't give a fuck that you sent seven Voxers in a row, each of them five minutes each. Sometimes, no, I'm just kidding. They were not always, but you, I was like, good, get it out, Courtney, get it out. And so many, so many people were like, oh, I'm sorry for, I'm ranting. I'm like, stop saying that stuff. Stop saying you're ranting. Stop saying you're talking too much. Just fucking stop. Stop censoring yourself. Nobody's doing that but you. So I'm just really proud of you because you really did uh, uh, start saying it out loud. Like you, you really took it to heart. And you and I'm proud of you because this group isn't isn't what it is is not what it is or could not have been what it is without every single one of you saying it out loud. And um, I just really appreciate you being in the group. Yes, thank okay. you. Okay. Of course. And okay, here is, okay, one last question. When you have um, 30 minutes of free time, how do you pass the time? Hmm. Well, having three little kiddos mm. <laughs> that take up pretty much all my time. Yeah. Um, I hate to say working on my business, but the, it's, and I know that it's supposed to be free time, self-care and all that good stuff. But whenever I have a minute, I'm working on my business because I know that my children, you know, demand most of my time. So, you know, that's where most of my time goes. So if I have a free moment, like I'm working on my business, working on creating content um, mm -hmm. and things like that. So, yeah. And if I had to think of something like self-care wise, I would say like, um, listening to music, singing around the house, just like, mm -hmm. you know, getting realigned. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Just, yeah. You, you work on stuff that you love or you're just enjoying yourself using your voice mm -hmm. in another way. That's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, now we're going to get into, uh, our like, say it out loud questions. Okay. So you ready? Yes. Yes. I'm ready. Of course you are. You <laughs> born ready. Okay. When did you learn that it was safer to lie? than it was to say things out loud? Hmm. That's a really good question. I would say, I would say like when I was a little girl and maybe I said a little bit too much about, you know, something that was happening inside, inside the household or something like that. Nothing crazy, but you know, just kid chatter, you know, I noticed my kids do it too. And, um, you know, when, when you're a child and you're like, you know, a chatterbox and talking to strangers or fam, you know, extended family and things like that, and things come out, <laughs> of course, you know, your parent is like, okay, all right, let's calm it down. You know, not, not a great idea to say that. Um, so I would, I would have to say I'm always reverse engineering and thinking about those childhood experiences because I know, you know, how connected they are to our adult experiences. So, um, yeah, I would say, you know, back in the day when I was a little chatterbox, mm -hmm. which I'm getting back to and I'm proud of. Good. Um, yeah, just saying a little bit too much in front of, you know, others and mom, you know, is like, all right, you know, business stays, bus our, our family business stays in our family. <laughs> you know. And I love how you said you made that connection about, you know, how we are as adults, you know, it goes back to childhood. And I'm glad that you see that connection. My father always used to say, we're all just, you know, uh, young little kids in, in, in adult bodies. It's still the, my, wait, what did he say? He goes, it's not the man, it's not the man that controls the boy. It's the boy that controls the man. Saying inside every man, there is a little boy controlling him. My dad used to say that about himself. It makes me think about my father. I don't want to start thinking about my father. Then I start crying. But he always used to say that. And it makes total sense. You know, it's like, and that's why sometimes, you know, one of the questions that I ask myself if I'm like in a mood or if I'm feeling some sort of way, I always ask myself, how old am I right now? And I don't say that in a condescending way, but it's like, ooh, how old is this wound? How old was I? And it's usually like, 
man, five, six, seven, eight. And then when it comes to friendships, I'm, I've ha I have really good friendships now, Courtney. I had to work through a lot of my, oh my God, 13 through 18 years old, all the high school bullshit drama. And it's like, work through that with my friends. Like, it's great, but it's like, when you get to see, ooh, like you get to literally heal each age that still lives inside of you. Yes. And when I, when I entering my forties, I had a lot of my late twenties and mid thirties that I have to heal because I was, I was growing up. I, I mean, literally I'm growing up, you know, and, but I still had some rem, uh, remaining stuff. And I was like, Ooh, it was, it was my late twenties. I, I could tell it was like late twenties. So it was good. It's like, it's, it's fun. And so I appreciate you saying that because, um, I don't think a lot of people like to, I don't think people like to admit that, you know, it's painful. I know. And I, and you know what? I almost self edited. And then mm -hmm. I said, Nope, I'm not doing it. You know, it, Good. it is what it is. You know, um, it is what it is. That's my story. You know, sorry, mom, <laughs> but I'm a mom now, you know, and I, you know, I understand where she was coming from, you know, with that, because not everyone has great intentions. Not everyone deserves all of that information. And I'm learning at myself as an adult. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff when you start to make peace within yourself, you can really start to forgive the people in your life. Like I no longer hold my mom emotionally hostage anymore. I'm, I, I think I shared this on a few episodes ago. I, I healed my relationship with my mother. I've never said those words out loud because that was never my truth. I've healed my relationship with my mom. When I talk to my mother, I give her nothing but love and encouragement. In fact, oh, Courtney, it was so beautiful. She, uh, she loves to sing. My mother's an Indian classical oh. singer. Yeah, and... Yeah, she sang on stage uh, a few days ago, and I texted her at night. I go, how did it go? And she texted me back, I'm just getting started. And it brought tears to my eyes because it's like I got to I got to support her in that moment. It was it was just beautiful. And, it, yeah, she's 70, but I'm like, you'll live till 90. Just keep singing. She's good. That's right. You know? That's right. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's absolutely. So, so um it is beautiful. It is. And, and that's really the power of saying it out loud. Okay. So next question. Uh, what is something, Ooh, this is a good one. What is something that you've been wanting to say out loud, but you haven't? Hmm. And, may, and this would be your first time saying it. Okay. No pressure. I am because I am working on self-confidence, self-worth, building up, you know, building myself back up. Um, I would say, Courtney, you are that bitch. <laughs> you are that bitch. You are amazing. You have so much to offer. You have so much to give and you can help in so many different ways. And it's time for you to start owning it. That's it. I didn't, you, okay, first of all, you are that bitch. Let's just take a moment of silence because you are, uh, you are that bitch. Let that soak in. Yeah. And you listening yeah. right now, if I'm in your earbuds, you are that bitch too. And I'm, I'm so proud of you that that's the direction that you went in. Because when I asked this question to Alex, I, I, I positioned this question like, listen, say something, own something about yourself. And I didn't even have to do, I, I did that with her because that was my first time asking that question with her. And I, then I thought with you, you know what, let her just, let it be organic. I don't want to, I don't want to tell you what to say. And you, you went that same direction where you owned yeah. something and you celebrated. And I'm so glad, I'm so glad that you went that route and you are that bitch. You are that bitch. I, yeah. Thank you, boss. Thank yes. You. And you are that bitch for helping me to realize that I am that bitch. <laughs> Listen, can I, can I tell you what I love about this group? I was saying this to Alex. I, I, I really, and for those of you, I keep mentioning Alex. Alex was the podcast right before this. She's another member of the Say It Out Loud group program. Every single one of the people, members that are I'm interviewing will bring something fresh for you to think about for yourself. So I'm, please make sure and go back and listen, you know, listen to that. I was saying to Alex, what I love inside of our group is that yes, even though I started this group and even though I'm the leader of this group, the way that I lead is very much like I share my shit with you guys too. I share my own internal chatter and I share how I work through it. And I show you that, yes, I have my, I have this thought process and here's how I'm working through it and boom. Like it's, it can be that quick. You do not have to stay stuck. You do not have to. You don't. Absolutely. You're so right. And you're always challenging those limiting beliefs and thoughts that we're 
pretty much vomiting out <laughs> inside the program. <laughs> You're just verbally jizzing all over me here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I, who, I i'm so fucking vile literally my mom would like roll, like die right now if she saw that i just did that if you want to know what i just did watch the video version of this okay <laughs> anyway thank you for saying that um yeah. all right all right next question <laughs> mm, what is the catchphrase lately that you've been saying out loud is there like a certain something you've been saying out loud lately that's been kind of like your mantra oh yeah what I'm is unfuckwithable it and unbothered Unfuckwithable. Oh, un <laughs> Dude, that's literally the name of my book. I love it. Oh my god! And I, I, and, I, and I get that for the Say It Out Loud program. Would ha wouldn't have dared <laughs> said that out loud. You know, yeah, and I'm just it feels so good to say like, yeah, okay, I'm unfuckwithable. Yeah, and you know what? You know what? You, you know what? The greatest uh, relief is the only person that can fuck with me is myself. Yes, that's it. You taught us that. Yeah. yeah. And I refuse. I mean, so I'm very like, I was, I, was, I was sharing this with my girlfriend yesterday. We took like an evening dip in her pool. And I said, I don't have a single person in my life who doesn't value and respect me. Yes. A I don't have anyone in my life. Even my own parents, you know, they, they don't get to me anymore. They, 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 they don't bother me anymore. So like, and they value me. They respect me, you know, and it, I, I also don't go seeking that. But like, I love that you said that about being unfucked with the bull and unbothered, it doesn't mean that you don't care about things. It just means that, well, actually, let me ask you this. What does it mean for you to be on fuck with the bull and unbothered? What does that mean for you? Oh my goodness. I would say it just means no matter what's happening in my life and my business with, you know, just on a day-to-day -day basis or a moment to moment basis, like I know it's going to be figured out. I know, I know myself. I love myself. I trust myself. That's another thing I've been saying out loud. I think I remember uh, hearing you um, say that maybe in one of your meditations when I was in your previous program or something, but that really resonated with me. And I'm constantly saying that. And I'm like, you know what? Like, no matter what goes down, no matter what happens, like it's going to get figured out. So therefore, if I'm going to go through, you know, um, this thing called life, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it happy and feeling good because the outcome is going to be the outcome, whether I'm feeling good or whether I'm stressing myself out or whether I'm overthinking. So why not just do it feeling good and happy and, you know, optimistically and all of that good stuff. I'm proud of you. That, that, that's exactly right. I mean, I, everyone has their version of what that means for them. So that's why I always want to hear like, what does that mean for you? Because somebody listening might be like, oh yeah, I want that for me, you know? Yeah. And if you feel that way, then, you know, join the program, join the Say It Out Loud program. Um, so, okay. What is something that you want to encourage our audience to say more of out loud? I know myself. I love myself. I trust myself. Mm -hmm. I feel like that really wraps it all up. You know, just having that unwavering trust and faith in yourself and faith in you know um your higher power um and your higher power you know you being a vessel for your higher power just mm -hmm. reminding yourself of that and just like doing the damn thing no matter how you feel you know i do know that was beautiful thank you thank you <laughs> um what is the most badass thing that you were most proud of saying out loud recently what I just said <laughs> about being on fuck with the Oh, yeah. that you are that bitch. That Good. Bitch. Yes. <laughs> Good. And that could easily be taken as arrogance, you know, mm -hmm. and Courtney before the say it out loud program wouldn't have said it because I would have been worried about someone thinking that it's arrogant and cocky. And because I know myself, I love myself and I trust myself. I'm like, hey it lands how it lands for you that's a you problem i know that i'm not arrogant i know that i'm not cocky you're always challenging us to you know think about you know what is the actual truth and the actual truth is i'm not cocky i'm not arrogant 
but I can still say that I'm that bitch. <laughs> you can. And I was saying, so when I asked <laughs> Alex this, she was saying, you know, I am really good at what I do. Like, that's what she said. Like, she was really feeling herself. And I said to her, I'm like, yes, because he here's how I look at it as like a potential client. Or if I want to hire somebody, if you're not into yourself, and when I say into yourself, if you're not feeling your vibe, if you're not feeling your energy, why the fuck would I want to be around you? I want to be exactly. around people who love being around themselves. Yes. Right? If yes. you don't even want to be around you and you have nothing nice to say about you, give me one good reason why I should hang out with you. Yes. You exactly. know? And, or in because your business. It's all energy. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, yeah. Or in your business. If you're like, oh, I'm kind of like, no, I'm the best. I'm the best at what I do. Yes. Or whatever yeah. version that looks like for you. Or I'm the best for, the, for, for this type of client. Right? Yeah. Whatever, whatever version. So... I love, I'm proud of you also Thank for saying you. that. Okay, <laughs> uh, last question here. We have two questions left actually. What do you say out loud to yourself when you look in the mirror these days? Hmm. I just did this today when I was, you know, I felt nerves coming up about the podcast and mm. things like that and as soon as I looked in the mirror and said it to myself, like the nerves literally just went away. It's like, ah, oh, I wish I could remember exactly what it was. But for the most part, I'm just like, you got this. Mm. I, I, I say that a lot. Like, you've got this. Yeah. Here's the thing. You, you, we get to choose our thoughts. You can either say to yourself, this is going to suck. I'm going to suck. Or you can say, you got this. Pick, pick, yeah. pick which one feels good. And I'm really happy for you that you chose the one that says you got this. How are you feeling so far throughout this interview? Oh my goodness. I am like surprisingly excited that I'm this calm. Mm -hmm. And it makes me it's it makes me feel so good because you know that I've been um working on like getting more visible and doing more podcast interviews and getting myself out there. And this really feels like it's going to be that step that pushes me forward because I'm looking at myself like, yeah, you do you got this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad that you trust yourself. That's what this is all about. You know, I always just like, I, I want anyone in my presence to feel that they can be themselves. And I, I mean, at least as far as you and I are concerned, I'm not judging your every word. I'm not thinking she could say that. I mean, listen, I trust that whatever comes out of your mouth is the truth. Right. So, and, and, and it's real for you. And like, I just want this experience, uh, you know, for you to feel free in your skin and feel comfortable. And also one of the perks, by the way, a little shameless plug. I mean, this whole podcast is a shameless plug. Let's be real. Uh, what I will say is anyone who comes into my program will be on the podcast if they choose. Not everyone's going to be on the podcast from the program uh, if they don't want to be. But I, I want that. I want, you know, Courtney, I want to share this with you. Do you know I once had a vision this was at the beginning of the year when I knew I got the book deal. I got the book deal. I changed the name of my podcast to Say It Out Loud podcast. And I had a vision of like, man, I don't just like want to always interview my guests who have tons of followers and all that. Like that's, I can do that. I have plenty of friends who, with big names, all that stuff. That's great. I go, but I want to invite the people that I work with because like, Y'all are like in the trenches doing this work, you know, like this is what saying it out loud is like you go from being in a group to being on this podcast and having thousands of people hear your voice. You know, how many ever people download a podcast per week? You know, I, I forgot what number we're at now, but it's really good and I'm happy with the numbers, but that's not even about it. It's like, it's such a huge deal, right? You go from joining a program called say it out loud, learning to use your voice. And I, here I am asking you these questions, which you didn't know what I'm asking you ahead of time, unless you maybe heard previous episodes, but this this is the power of showing up and speaking your truth. Now you're, you're feeling calm on a podcast. Yes. You're not nervous. You're not I'm wondering. Program That would not be. <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. I appreciate that so much. Courtney, is there anything left unsaid that you want to say out loud here on the Say It Out Loud podcast? Yeah, I would say don't be afraid to open up and be vulnerable. I was very guarded before the program and it showed like in my relationships, it showed in my business kind of, you know, hiding and, um, you know, just not showing up the way that I know that I really truly want to show up and should be showing up. 
So don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to, it's not just about investing in a program. It's about investing in yourself, your growth, your personal development and building relationships. That, that is one thing that I am definitely learning is to, you know, value my relationships more. And, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I would say, you know, it, the Say It Out Loud program has really helped me to be able to communicate better so that I can have better relationships. So yeah, don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Um, if you're guarded, if you've got a wall up, you know, um, it's okay to be vulnerable. Like you're, you know, you're not gonna die. <laughs> you're not gonna die, I love that. Um, and how can people find you and connect with you? You can find me on IG as at, uh, at Ask Courtney Lee. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm also on Facebook. And yeah, that's where you can find me. <laughs> that's where I hang out. Thank you so much, Courtney, for being here. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the Say It Out Loud podcast. I'll put all of Courtney's information, the Say It Out Loud group program uh, information in the show notes. Remember, we are in early bird. Um, so if you have any questions, just reach out to me uh, through Instagram or just go ahead and sign up for the program. Okay. I'll catch you next time on another episode of the Say It Out Loud podcast.